this is a Duggar update for November 2022. This month in Duggar News, Joy surprises the family with the pregnancy reveal, Jeremiah and Hannah are living in a camper, Jessa ruffles feathers by basically telling moms not to be average, and let's talk about Ginger's tell-all book and much more. Let's start the update with Joy. Joy and Austin posted a video of them announcing to some of the Duggars that they're expecting and their reactions are just so good. She did it mostly by FaceTiming select Duggars and just putting up her pregnancy test to the camera and seeing what they say when they answer. And Joy also mentioned something about having MTHFR something medical about blood clots, which I googled obviously, and it sounded a bit concerning. Anyways, she called Ginger first, and yes, I feel like the ones she called maybe are some of her favorites in the family? This was Ginger's reaction. Then Jim Bob, who took a moment to even clue in, but basically said this is going to be his 30th grandchild. And Jason, then James, who is just like, what? Honestly, is a Duggar being pregnant shocking anymore? Serious question. She then called Justin and Claire separately. And then Jill, guys, she called Jill. All is right in the Duggar world. And she even showed Derek. Then she told her older sisters and some of her younger sisters at a lunch and her mom Katie was there too. Anyways, they all had the same cute reaction and things are going well for Joy, so I'm happy for her. Jed and Katie recently did a Q&A where they answered questions for fans, including what's going on with the oldest brother and how they're dealing with that you know who. And I actually thought that what Jed said was really insightful. Honestly, every time I'm shocked at how likable Jed is in his videos because he never got a lot of screen time on Counting On. He was kind of often in the background and I wrongly assumed that he had very little personality. Anyways, he said something like, my parents are not perfect and my family isn't perfect, but I love them for who they are. And he seemed to imply he wants to be there for, you know, Anna and the kids. They also said that they do plan on homeschooling their kids right now, depending, I guess, on, you know, things can change, but right now they are planning on it. And now let's talk about Hannah and Jeremiah, Jed's twin, who are expecting and also do YouTube now, so they're following the family tradition. They posted a video showing that they're living in a newly renovated camper right now. It does look huge, it is mod modern, and there's a bedroom that's pretty nice. At the end of the video, Hannah says it's just perfect for them. Ginger and Jeremy, meanwhile, bought a super nice, huge house in California after renting a house. Anyways, it's super nice, modern, nice kitchen. I love it. It's a very nice house. And Ginger, in my opinion, probably gets more social media sponsorships from what I see, which could have definitely helped them pay for the house. And something that's coming up is her memoir. And uh, the people are talking about it. It's going to be called Becoming Free Indeed, My Story of Disentangling Faith from Fear. It's supposed to come out January 2023, and it says in the description, Ginger Vuolo, the sixth child in the famous Duggar family of TLC's 19 Kids and Counting and Counting On, recounts how she began to question the unhealthy ideology of her youth and learn to embrace true freedom in Christ. Scandalous. Anyways, I predict we'll learn all about Ginger's rebelling away from the modest dresses. We know she was one of the first to start wearing pants, and literally, this is the same month that Pr Prince Harry will be releasing his tell-all, so it'll be a busy reading month for me. 
And Jessa, well, Jessa got in a bit of hot water with fans this month for talking about biblically excellent motherhood, and she quoted a book called M is for Mama, A Rebellion Against Mediocre Motherhood. Seems like Jessa has been doing a little bit of reading lately as well. This book, it says, is about how our worldly culture offers moms little in the way of real help. Mamas only connect to celebrate surviving another day and to share it share in their misery rather than rejoice in what God has done and to build each other up in hard times. So I think her messages on Instagram about this topic are, you know, they're coming from that perspective. But yeah, something about telling moms don't be average just is touchy because we all kind of wonder, you know, am I doing things right? And most of us already feel mom guilt all the time anyway, so it can be triggering. But I think Jessa, you know, she's trying to come from the right place, I think. Now let's go to Jill. Derek Dillard, her husband, was sworn in as an attorney, this time in Oklahoma, where he recently got a job as a prosecutor in Stillwell, Oklahoma which is super exciting for Jill and her family. I think this kind of makes Derek the most successful Duggar husband, I mean, by profession, I don't know. Actually, you know what, Austin is pretty successful. Okay, so it's a toss up. But Derek is a critical thinker and clearly someone who will speak up, which is what the world needs now. So I do, I do you know, admire Derek for that. Derek is a great catch, actually, and in this case, Jim Bob did well setting him up with Jill. Recently, it was the one-year anniversary of Jill's miscarriage, and she posted this image which, with a sweet message saying, It's been one year ago today since we said goodbye to our baby, River Bliss. As I sit here this morning nursing our little Freddy, Covered in spit up and a little sleep deprived, I feel conflicted with feelings of loss and joy. I miss the moments we never had with River, yet I feel so, so thankful for where we are this year holding our sweet little newborn, and I do not take for granted what a blessing this journey of motherhood is. I actually admire Jill for speaking out so openly on social media about this and ultimately helping other women who maybe went through the same thing. And in other news, it looks like there's another Duggar pilot in town, little James, who I feel is still like 14, but these Duggars, they're like growing up. He appears to be doing some helicopter training in this little helicopter. So lots of pilots coming up for the Duggars for sure. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this Duggar update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Duggar news and updates. Bye, guys.